getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there, but I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually, these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Yeah, it's pretty far out, right? Fixating on old technology just doesn't seem very relevant to most people's lives. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay, my offer stands. If we run into each other again. Because of one I can take her with me. But I prefer having one with me, mm, you know, rifle and case uh, doors that can hurt you badly if mm, they kill your companion. Okay. Welcome to the 188 slopping shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like much, but it's one hell of a location. You bet. Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till the prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. 
When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip, or limp back home, after the Strips drained them of caps. We get them coming and going. Coming, the suckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the Strip. And going, the same folks, but now they're losers who will trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss print. Okay. At least uh, she's asleep. Maybe she can sell me something. Let's wait. Oh, Michelle. Hi. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet, and 95 plus 93 equals 188. Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Okay, of course. It's assassin, I see. Come here, assassin. Minus one. Take that. Is there someone else? Boon. We killed the last one.
take that. something. This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. I am ready to process our transaction. Come back and see us again soon. So, I was wrong. Uh, I think those guys there... Um Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Have a look, baby. Another satisfied customer. Till next time. And what do we have here? Hey, if you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supply. Take a gander. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. If you haven't heard of the king, he must have been living under a rock or something. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. Okay, ask away. What do you want to know? You haven't heard of the king. He must have been living under a rock or something. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. They are the local energy weapon dealers in Freeside, 
When it comes to lasers and plasma, they're the only game in town. They keep it that way. Gloria's men are the best armed in Freeside and ruthless to boot. But her brother, Jean Baptiste Cutting, puts them all to shame. Their joint is the only place in Freeside to get it all under one roof. They've got gambling booze, chems, and whores. They're good folks, just don't cross them. They're known for tidying up loose ends with a bullet to the brain box. Anything else I can help you with? Come back anytime. Let's talk with another one. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Have a look. Thanks. Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we get by. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Anything else I can help you with? Why? You work for one of the casinos? No Vegas banned items here, buddy. Just high quality standard stock. Sure, let's see what you've got. Come back and see us soon. Okay. Where is Boon? Boon, give me a rare kit. Yeah. Hello there. It's a local. You're mine. What do you want to say? Let's go and see what can be found here. I don't like his actions. What do you need? Later. So, do you plan to rob me or something? Check it out between the dumpsters there. The last person stupid enough to follow me down this alley. Get this fool, boys. Found you. Come here, man. Yeah, this thing go uh, works well against those. Yeah. We got rid of the free side thugs, and now I need to find Benny after all. caps for a good long swig. Anything else you want? Sure thing.
nobody have has steam packs. It's weird. Laser weapons. It's cool. Hello. Welcome to the Silver Rush. New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. Let's center. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. It should only take a moment. There. I've stored all of your weapons. You clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graaff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation, and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah. I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Keep your okay, hands everyone. where we can see Show's them. over. Back to work. Harsh woman. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Not at all. There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Very little, same as everyone else. We attempted to deal with him when we first moved into the area, but had no luck. He must have his own weapons supplies to keep as many laser-armed robots operational as he does. Makes me wonder where they are. I've only heard rumors, since this is the furthest east our operations go, but the rumors are pretty scary. They're said to be a huge slaver nation, with all the soldiers obeying their lord with unquestioning obedience. Sounds like a man I'd like to meet. You must not know a lot about my family, or you wouldn't have asked that. The Van Graffs and the NCR have been enemies for decades. They've tried to block our expansion for years, but we've managed to grow regardless. The problem is, they have too. The NCR is huge now. We're talking on a scale that's difficult to imagine. Time was, we could fight them and hold our own. Not so anymore. My family has enough men and guns to field a small army, but the NCR can field a really, really big army. Fighting them is out of the question now. Yes, it is. My brother and I run this particular branch, but our family has operations all over, particularly in California. Look around, and you'll notice two things. First, we don't lack for security. I'm not worried about anyone breaking in here or stealing our goods. Not that we don't occasionally have attempts, but even those prove useful. Do you know how much target dummies cost? Back to my point. The second thing you'll notice is that we do not sell cheap merchandise. Everything here is second to none. People who buy Van Graaff goods typically don't care where they have to go to get them. This place is certainly lively, that's for sure. Did you want to know something specific about it? Ah, the rulers of Freeside. The kings are a bunch of boys who refuse to grow up, and this is their playground. Their leader seems different, though. The few times I've dealt with him, I've been impressed, despite myself. Unfortunately, he rarely acts. The kings believe that everyone in Freeside can do whatever they want, provided they can back it up with force. Which suits us just fine. When we first arrived in Freeside, the kings protested when we kicked out the original occupant of this establishment. When we reduced several of their members to glowing puddles of goo, their objections vanished. Since then, we've left each other alone. I don't really have much to do with them. They seem to have an aversion to weapons technology, and those who possess a great deal of it. Their loss, really. 
Well, you probably noticed the Atomic Wrangler across the street. That's pretty much the place to go around here. They make it a little loud around here at night, but the business their proximity brings more than makes up for it. Other than them, you're better off skipping Freeside entirely and just heading to the Strip. Suits me. What did you have in mind? Oh, there's not much to tell. I was born into a big family and don't get along with my parents. So here I am, as far away from them as possible. Bye. Hey, I want to sell some stuff. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Of course. Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. It wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended.
Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. Talk to you later. Okay. No. It's um, high time for me to end this session. So, in next video, I will enter New Vegas and take care of Benny. See you then. Bye.